Well, hey, man, I want to immediately point out to Table 10, Mike Curtin, my handsome brother. Stand up. So many of my crazy dreams have made, been made true by that man. And board members like Riss Lacoste right there. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to begin by paraphrasing um, Joe Strummer from The Clash. Um, you got to grab the future by the mouth. Um, you know, when I was a young man, there was a lot of talk about food, not bombs. Food is a bomb. Food is how we'll change America. Um, but I would add uh, that the work I'm, I'm really, I was, I was so proud to be able to leave Washington, a city I lived in for 40 years. But I went to Los Angeles for three reasons. Um, the great source of food in the future is going to be fruits and vegetables. We throw away 40% of the food we produce every day. Half of that is fruits and vegetables. And Los Angeles represents the, the, the great funnel, which is the Central Valley. So it's an unlimited supply. It's also the home to the biggest concentration of older people living in poverty. Um, and as much as we focus on children, brothers and sisters, listen to me here and now. Every single morning, 10,000 people wake up 68. <laughs> Every single morning. And that's not going to stop for 19 years. And they look in the mirror and they think, how did, I, how did I let them convince me to put that shit in my mouth? You know, and they're coming. An army of people who want healthy local food. And the connection between older people who will have a keen interest in both the, from the medicinal side and their social side. How will the food I eat help the medicine I take and the life I want to lead go forward? Those are the men and women who are the future. I urge you to recognize the connection between food and seniors is a tremendous opportunity. Um, and I will see you in that future. Thank you all very, very much.